Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. And I wanted to begin by thanking all the faculty and staff members who joined us for our town hall session about two weeks ago. This was a chance for you to come together, ask questions, and get those questions answered. We had over 650 people dial in that day, which indicates uh, there's a lot of questions out there, and hopefully we gave you good answers. I was extraordinarily proud of our leadership team and their preparation and the answers that they provided. But if you had a question that you didn't get an answer for, please check out the UND website and the blog for that particular town hall. All of the questions that were asked that day do have answers online. The second thing I wanted to mention is uh, my thanks for the team that put together our Martin Luther King Day brunch at the Memorial Union. Uh, Tom Bequie Bailey, Stacy Borbo peterson Jeff Maliski, and Keith Malter did a wonderful job piecing together an incredible event. We hosted Rosalind Pellis, who was a noted civil rights activist, who talked about the legacy of Dr. King, which she observed directly from him, but also our aspiration to create what Dr. King referred to as the beloved community. And this is a chance for us as a campus to reflect upon the steps that we need to take to make sure that we come together as one, uh, to make sure that that community exists in its fullest sense. And then finally, speaking of community, we've had a lot of discussions over the last two weeks about our draft uh, gender inclusion policy. And this policy, of course, uh, spawned much discussion both locally and nationally about gender inclusion and about what our campus is doing to promote uh, a sense of equity and fairness for what, uh, what is one of the most marginalized communities on our campus and in society. And it was important for us to engage in this discussion. Ultimately, I made a decision that I felt was in the best interest of keeping conversations alive on campus, uh, but also offering my assurance, both in the press conference and also in the subsequent uh, release to the campus, of my commitment and our university's commitment to all of its members to make sure that we can promote those important discussions, to talk about the tough issues that we face, and to come together as one community. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.